Yeah. Uh, sorry, ma'am. Uh, I think uh, it's a technical error. I, I'm not sure uh, where did the where did the discussion end? Uh, you know, like what was the last thing you heard? What was the last slide you see? You, you saw? Acha, you have seen till Greta Thunberg. Huh? Uh, then nothing more, nothing much happened after that. Yeah. After that, I've shown one more slide. It is related to say something on uh, individual personality. Yeah. Nothing much is left. Uh, so after this, what I'm, I said is that uh, we will try to practice more codes. We'll try to practice more codes by the end of the session. So stay assured. Now uh, I want to discuss. Uh, from you, uh, like I told you, right? These are the sources from which we try to pick our uh, quotations and all. I want suggestion from you, wherein if you guys can suggest me what are other different sources which you try to pick your quotation, it will be helpful to everyone. So that is the question I was posing. I think uh, we got some network issues and got disconnected. Yeah. Hope you understood my question. Yes, ma'am. Any other sources? Yeah, Prime Minister's Modi speeches. Oh, you are interested in Rajesh? Okay, okay. From apps, ah, okay. Sanskrit Subhashitani. Okay. Audio is buffering. Is it still the same? Novels and English classics. Yes, that they are a good source. Novels and uh, English classics are a good source. I agree with you. Yes. From Yojana magazine. Yes, definitely. Uh, I, I'll brief the missed points, money. I'll do it. Yes. Stories of successful people. Light from many lamps. Light from many lamps. It's a book by Aishler Watson. Thanks, Raghuvi. Thanks for sharing this. Of course, Telegram channels. Are there dedicated Telegram, chan Telegram channels? I'm not aware. Yeah. Can we write mythological stories to provoke? I, I'm coming to that. Yes, I'll talk about it. Certain articles, budget yes. academic survey, okay. Mahabharata, other epics, okay. Venkai Naidu's introductory speeches, yeah, very good sources. He is a good orator, right? But uh, someone suggested Prime Minister Modi's speeches, of course, you can use it, but be a little uh, careful. Uh, because they sometimes they may sound like a political statements. Be a little careful, okay? Personal instincts, yes, of course, personal instincts faced also. Huh? TEDx, that's a very good source. Yes, somebody just uh, said TEDx. TEDx also is a very good source, undeniably. Yes. If you have this habit of uh, listening to, yeah, movies, why not? Yeah, movies are also very good sources. Now. Say, for instance, uh, what is this? Uh, Telugu movie Stalin. Telugu movie Stalin, like, what is that campaign called as Pay It Forward campaign, right? So, not Stalin, it's Tagore. Uh, no, it's Stalin only. In Tamil also, I think they had made that movie. Pay it forward means, say, uh, if somebody helps you, uh, don't thank them, but rather you try to help more number of people. So this help will pass to more number of people as a chain. Yeah, more number of people as a chain. So likewise, yeah, we can definitely use uh, certain things from movies. Uh, there are many good movies, say for instance, uh, which can provoke your thought process. That uh, PK movie of uh, Amir Khan and wherever you think they are relevant. Say for instance, even Dangal movie, it's a classical story of women empowerment, how in a society riddled with, uh, you know, uh, too much of, uh, even there are female feticides even in the modern times and how two girls rose up uh, to that stature, all these things. Say even that movie of Mary Combe, Certain instance from biopics. Yeah, Tirukkural also is a very good source. Huh? Yeah, there are some uh, good uh, quotes you can take from them. All these are different sources. Yeah. Personality development books. Yes, all these are different sources. Chanakya Niti is also definitely you can use them. Nice. Pursuit of happiness. Yeah. So let me go to the next part of the discussion. So that is. Uh, If I can use short stories.
So what are these short stories and how can I use them? Say these things, these are the stories which we have heard in our, uh, like when we are at a school level, some of you might have read, uh, what is that, uh, Tinkle books, some of you might have read uh, in Telugu, uh, this Chandamama Katalu, they are very famous. And of course, some cartoons and moral, moral story or moral story textbooks or moral studies textbooks. We generally ignore them because we have never taken them seriously because in our childhood, they always tell us that you have to score good in your science, you have to score good in your maths or maybe social, that's our only agenda while we, are, while we were kids. But had we taken those lessons also seriously, now it would have been more easy for us in this examination. Because yes, they are extremely thought provoking. They might look simple, but yes, they can, uh, examiners will establish an instant connect because these are the stories which are quite popular and these are simple, mundane and day-to-day -day stories uh, by which uh, you can easily impress upon the examiner. See, again, when I'm saying this, you need not write the whole story in your answer. Ma. Just by saying that, say, line and a mouse story, line and a mouse story in which a mouse, when it helps a lion, lion mocks it. But later day when lion gets trapped in a net, net, mouse comes to the rescue. That's it. In two lines, you can narrate this entire story is a classical example to prove that an individual has to be have humility in his life. Humility is very important because the general tendency, even for a civil servant, throughout his career, he should learn to respect all his subordinates. And some people say that subordinates is also a discriminatory word. He should use the term junior colleagues. A civil servant should never stop being receptive. He should listen from everyone. He should never consider anybody's opinion as anything less which means throughout his career, he should have this humility. Isn't it? There is also a popular quote which says that, see, uh, it is uh, the arrogance that turn angels into demons and it is the humility which can turn even humans into angels. See, that's the importance of humility and that's the importance of, see, we should not take anyone lightly. Each one of them have their own importance and each of them have to be given their own consideration. So that is what I am trying to say. So likewise, say this line and mouse story, you can use it in your answer in two, three. And this fox and crow story also is a popular story, right? What is this fox and crow story? See, believing the flattery of the fox, crow, uh, what it, it loses the food which is in its mouth. And this is another very important aspect for a civil servant. Uh, generally, a civil servant, uh, they should uh, say they get used to the flattery. And they do certain things just for the sake of flattery or just with uh, expectations or just with by, uh, for rewards, they have a tendency to accept it. See, uh, it is often said that if we swallow greedily all that flattery, isn't it? We have a tendency to swallow greedily all that flattery on us, but we, have, we only take it little by little any truth that is bitter. See, this is a general human tendency. If somebody is doing flattery, we try to listen to it more and we want more and more of it. It becomes a kind of indulgence and it, it becomes kind of, you know, uh, dependence on flattery. And it's especially important for a civil servant because in the course of his uh, discharge of his duties, there are people surrounding him. They must be psycho fans and they must be uh, try to... And there are also some case studies you will get in which people try to please you by flatteries. But we should not fall in this trap and we should we have enough emotional intelligence to analyze the situation, to analyze the people. And yes, we should not greedily swallow this flatter. So in that context, you can use this simple fox and crow story. And the lion and cow story, it also, it is, uh, the moral is unity is strength. Uh, so that also you can use. And this greedy dog story, say for instance, a classical example is the modern day individual himself with a fit. What is this greedy dog story? This dog, uh, it has a bone in its bone with it. Rather than being happy or being contented with the bone it has, then it tries to see its own image in the water and thinking that there is one more bone and tries to take it. And in this process, it loses both. This is also in tandem with the Confucius quote, right? Never chase two rabbits, you end up 
losing both or uh, never chase two rabbits you end up getting none means if you try to choose if you try to sorry uh, if you try to chase two rabbits there is a possibility that you might miss both see this is a classical case of the modern day individual isn't it we want more we want more and more of it isn't it once i also framed a question on this topic if you guys remember the idea of ethical consumerism isn't it ethical consumerism means see uh, modern day humans we are all ultra consumers means we are greedy we want more and more of everything and our demand for more and more of everything because of it isn't it uh, see that classical example of how because of our uh, greed for palm oil or we are consuming more and more of palm oil because of it, that entire i mean uh, see uh, rain forest of uh, sumatra and java are getting destroyed likewise we are demanding more and more of electronic products so more and more of rare earth metals are doing and china is plundering its uh, mining resources and china is displacing large number of people see uh, so this is a kind of challenge to the consumers that consumers have to moderate their greed consumers have to bring down their consume uh, consumerist tendency and wherever it is possible they have to uh, you know uh, minimize their tendencies consumerist tendencies and it is challenging uh, the consumer to be more ethical say for instance do not buy products which are made out of animal leather or do not buy cosmetics which are tested on animals or do not buy diamonds which do not have kimberly certification if you buy diamonds which do not have kimberly certification it is highly likely that these diamonds will be conflict diamonds because of this uh, in the process of this mining of these diamonds it might have contributed to some inter tribal conflicts or some corporate group trying to suppress upon you know some tribal group and some tri uh, feudal landlords or feudal warlords trying to suppress tribes so simply put it's a conflict diamond so you always try to buy a diamond which has only kimberly certification which is a proof that this is an ethically mined diamond see all these are examples of ethical consumerism now a new trend has started even in hyderabad jewelry shops are selling the gold which has been extracted from the urban or disposed solid waste say and they are selling it at lesser price because people have a tendency to buy gold which is virgin gold why should you buy gold is gold doesn't matter where it is mined from so if you are an ethical consumer rather than buying that uh, new gold you can go for a gold which has been mined from urban solid waste uh, landfill sites so these are several ways in which people we can try to provoke consumer modern day consumer to be more ethical so that his greed will not act as an incentive for the corporates to plunder the environment to loot people and they remain sensible isn't it and i have also framed questions if you remember on the concept of triple bottom line approach and also questions uh, i also framed one related to social license to operate if you guys remember what is this triple bottom line approach triple bottom line approach is you should not corporate should not be blinded only towards economy they should also keep into consideration equity economy equity environment means they should not be blindly uh, should not be a blind pursuit only towards making money they also have to take into consideration people's needs they also have been to take into consideration environmental needs means they have to balance between people profit and planet they have to balance between economy equity and environment isn't it so these are certain related concepts try to read a little bit more about triple uh, bottom line approach social license to operate such concepts if you can use in your answers they will enrich the quality of your answers so this is another simple example right the rabbit and the tortoise uh, say for instance uh, this is something like no evil can be justified in the name like this is kind of experience this hare wanted to run fast but in this process of running fast uh, it might have got tired and but a tortoise is slow and sustainable and steady and it could reach the intended goal likewise we also have to be slow and steady in the process of attaining our goal we should not rush up things things have to go in their smooth and streamlined manner so that we can achieve the goals in a more sustainable manner so what i am trying to impress upon you is see this is how we can use case stories while writing your answers you can write your case stories while uh, writing the answers but again uh, a caution is don't try to write entire stories 
just write uh, one or two lines or in the maximum three lines uh, say because sometimes there is a possibility that case stories the examiner might not be aware you can explain it in one and a half two lines and then write its relevance or establish its relevance hope you understood ma so yeah these are the things uh, i want to discuss in today's class and tomorrow's uh, class will will start with uh, another idea so yes uh, make it a point that you actually revise things before you come to uh, class okay so that uh, tomorrow's class will be at 6 o'clock if there is anything specific i'll try to uh, refer to you uh, there is uh, in a 10 mark question uh, where we have to limit our answer to 150 words should we stop writing in complete sentences to make space for dimensions current effect examples and figures no ma this is uh, one common mistake done by most of the students always write complete sentences uh, yesterday also i think uh, i have evaluated one copy uh, in in which uh, it takes only extra one minute of your time to write a complete sentence see that that's what answer writing practice is all about people always complain about uh, time constraint but if you have if you do enough practice time constraint will not be a problem uh, no that should not be compromise okay case studies in ethics questions not in case studies can we use case studies in ethics questions yes yes definitely say so you can definitely use case studies you can also use case stories or case studies in your general studies two general studies three general studies one paper also as long as your case study is not 8 to 10 length 10 lines length if it's two three lines you can definitely use case studies ideal word limit for introduction of course it depends upon the question nagendra but generally what i suggest ensure that it it's done in first half page half then let it not go beyond that sanskrit quotes and hindi quotes yeah sanskrit quotes and hindi quotes. i'm not discouraging from writing sanskrit quote and hindi quote but there is a possibility that say north indian students papers might come to south india south indian papers so just to avoid that uh, thing generally uh, popular language is english and we are writing in english medium right but it's not that you cannot write some quotes from bhagavad gita you can definitely write yes uh, you can translate it from vernacular languages into english definitely you can do it as long as it is in english there is nothing that will stop you yeah definitely uh, at the end of the session i'll give this pdf okay so i'll uh, stop my class for today uh, good night thank you